regreso aquí en Auto 060 y bueno, vamos a hablar ahora del grupo BMW, eh, la marca Mini y el grupo BMW como tal. Primero con Jim McDowell, el CEO de Mini para Estados Unidos, que nos va a contar un poco las novedades que tiene el grupo, los nuevos modelos, la cantidad de autos que han vendido desde su regreso acá a Estados Unidos hace 11 años. Y después con David Bloom, que es el jefe de todo lo que tiene que ver con las aplicaciones que van dentro de los autos y que nos hacen la vida cada vez más fácil. Así que vamos con Jim McDowell del grupo Mini y después con David Bloom de la BMW. Hola Jim, uh, nice to see you here in New York again. It is great to see you on such a beautiful springtime day. Beautiful, huh? beautiful weather, beautiful uh, for driving. Uh... I got up this morning and said, yeah, motoring weather. <laughs> exactly. But uh, you have something coming up uh, in the summer, not in New York, but in Indianapolis that you are announcing here during the show, right? Well, yeah, we are very excited that we have this driving program. We've already had it, the Miles Ahead program. It was originally intended for teenage drivers, and starting this summer, we're expanding it to include uh, the teenage drivers, but also the parents. Yeah, so, and so, it, some it, of us act like teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Drive like teenagers. Uh, it, it's great because it's um, everyone's only experience to go to a driving school directly at Indy 500. And I think yeah. Indy has such a place in Americans' heart. It's a great driving program. The people that teach you are actual race car drivers. And it's just so much fun to see what a Mini can do on that course. Exactly. I mean, Mini can do a lot because they have one, what, that the car, what, two, three years in a row? Yeah. I mean, so, a fantastic car. How obviously that car won't be wearing the driving school. I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that particular car will be in the driving school. No, so, but it's great. So this program is a, what, two, three days, a weekend, or how, how does that work? Um, it's a one-day program. Um, it costs $995, and uh, but it's a full pack day. So yeah. you'd be amazed what uh, you can learn in one day. That's amazing. And uh, you, I, I guess you have the, the higher performance car there, right? Um, absolutely. We have our John Cooper works car. Yeah. And um, that is a really fun car to drive. I'm driving one right now. Yeah, it's fun. I've driven it too. And it's fun uh, in the racetrack. I don't think I've even driven in a racetrack a Mini, but that should be fun too. And we're standing here by the stand of, uh, at the Javits Center in New York, and we're standing by a number here. And what is it, like? Uh, Well, 498, 771, it says right now. That is the number of minis we have sold in the United States since we introduced the new mini. So sometime this weekend, or maybe Monday, we'll have sold the 500,000 new mini. Wow, that's And that's amazing. a real benchmark for us. Uh, a lot of people said, well, maybe they'll sell 20,000 cars and go home. Yeah. Uh, we made it to 500,000 and we're thriving. Yeah, so you came in, into the U.S. 11 years ago with one car, now you have seven and plans for more, right? Yeah, well, uh, we have active minds at Mini. We now yeah. have seven cars in our lineup, and uh, we're preparing for the next generation of Minis, too. So yeah. from that perspective, you'll see something very interesting from Mini every six months to a year. Okay, one question I have, when, uh, with the original Minis, the size of them weren't as big as the, as the ones today. Is there any plans like going that way in the future? Well, I'm sure you're talking about a car similar to the Rocketman concept yeah, that the company exactly. developed. A lot of people thought that was a fascinating design and would love to see the company go that size. Uh, we haven't actually worked out a plan to do that yet, but many of the features that people saw in the okay. Rocketman and loved you'll see on future minis that are the current size. Yeah, and the classic minis are there for people to love them forever, right? <laughs> exactly. Yes, the, little the classic minis are there for people to love forever, just very carefully and <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, Speaking of uh, very carefully driving and all that, we have an uh, announcement for uh, new apps that bring in more technology, more safety, more communication and entertainment features, right? Oh, we're always looking for new apps that we can bring to Mini Connected. Mini Connected It is one of the most popular features in our cars, and it's just great the way that it has such a seamless interface between the car and your iPhone. Yeah. And from that perspective, when you load the apps, you have all sorts of cool functionality that you didn't have before. Excellent. And uh, we also, in the next interview here in the show, we have David Bloom from the group that works with BMW and Mini, explaining all those four apps. So thank you very much for your time, Jim. And, uh, I wish I could stand here for the 500,000 and thousand, but I have to go back home. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry that you have to go back home, but uh, I'm sure Natalie will give you an update when we hit the 500,000. Excellent. Yeah, Natalie Burns here from Mini. Uh, thank you, Natalie, for the time and arranging interview with Jim. You're very welcome. Thank you.
Hello, David. So here we are at the headquarters of BMW in North America with exciting news for the, all the apps uh, for BMW. And uh, you have a tough job because there's so many things coming up at the same time, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so thank you for the introduction. We are very excited to be working with new app partners all the time to bring into our BMW apps platform. And with this week, we're announcing four new partnerships, working with Audible, Glimpse, Rhapsody, and TuneIn to explore op integrations of their apps into our apps platform. And, and you're right. There's there's many, many apps out there, and one of the great things about the BMW apps platform is that it gives us the flexibility to take apps and features that are in the smartphone world and bring them into the car much faster than we would be able to if uh, you know all the features were all built into the car. So in other words, the apps that I have in my phone, these four, for example, already work in the car with no extra work for me as a user. Right, so so the four that we're announcing uh, this week, they're not available right now, these are just- well, I mean, whenever they come, yeah. when, they, when they would be available, then all you do is get the new app on your phone, you just update it through the through the app store, and there's nothing else you need to do. You just run the app and connect it to the car. Okay, so what they're for, can you explain a little bit about them? Please? Sure, so the four new partnerships that we're announcing, the first one, uh, I'll just go in alphabetical order, is okay. Audible, which is the world's largest uh, digital audio book uh, Store and they have uh, over 100,000 audiobooks and really high quality uh, book content. So it's a really great use case in the car. And with our integration uh, that we're showing, you're able to listen to all the books that you have in your library from the Audible app and control features such as the dictation speed to speed it up or slow it down or accessing any chapter or bookmark. In the show. This, uh, yeah, the bookmark thing is pretty cool because mm -hmm. if you're listening to your book, well, let's say, let, let's start backwards. Mm -hmm. You start reading your book, you set into your Kindle or whatever. Uh, and right. So then one you the, are, And then you get into the car, and then you can continue where you were. Right. So one of the new features that Audible, um, together with... Uh, Audible is actually a company owned by Amazon, and one of the new features that they announced relatively recently is called Whisper Sync for Voice, which allows you, if you have both the Audible uh, audiobook as well as the Kindle e-reader book, uh, then you can synchronize, autom the two books can synchronize themselves automatically. So let's say you're listening, let's say you're reading uh, your book on your Kindle in the train, and then you get to your car, and if you launch the Audible app on your phone, it can synchronize to the last location you had left off when you were reading on the Kindle, and then you can start listening at that point from your Audible book, and you can connect to the car, and then be, be listening in your car right from the same place. So pretty cool. Who would think about yeah. that about five, ten years it's, ago? Yeah, right? it's, a great, it's, a great, it's a great use. Case. So what are the other two, the other three, I'm sorry? Okay, so the next app uh, partnership that we're announcing this week is Glimpse, which is a great location sharing service. And Glimpse allows you to basically share your location with anybody you want and allows them to see where you are and where you're going, but where you have all the control over the privacy. So at any time, I can, for instance, let's say you and I are meeting for lunch, and let's say we're meeting in Manhattan, and you're already in Manhattan, and I'm coming from New Jersey, and let's say I'm about 45 minutes away. While I'm driving in my car, I might want to sit, let, share my location with you so you can see where I am and you can know when I'm going to arrive so that you can meet me at the same time. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So that avoids all the phone calls exactly, and messages. Exactly. And, and, are you here here already or something like exactly. that? Exactly. Right? And, and the idea with the BMW apps integration would be that using the Glimpse app on the phone, you would, through the car's interface, with just a very small number of clicks, very easily send your location uh, to the people that you want to send it to. And you can control also how long they're able to see your location. So I can just say for the next 30 minutes, I want you to see where I'm at, and nobody else, and only for that amount of time. And uh, during that time, you can track me and see where I'm at. And at any time, I can either expire that uh, glimpse so that you can no longer see me, or I can add more time if I want you to see me for longer. Right. So it's a really great use case in the car. It really adds to the safety and uh, convenience of being able to let other well, people know where you are. Not only the driver, but also the other people you're exactly. meeting. Right? That's pretty cool. Right. And then uh, the third one? So the next one is uh, Rapid. City, which is a great music subscription service. They have over a million members and over 16 million audio tracks. And so with the great iPhone app that they have, you can access all of their content from new content that's just come out to playlists that you've created to radio stations that they created, um, down content that you can download uh, over Wi-Fi, you know, with high quality audio. And you can access all that through the app. And with the new partnership that we're announcing, um, when, when it comes to an app and when the BMW app integration comes, then you'd be able to access all that content through the iDrive interface through a very convenient manner. Yeah, I hear there's a pretty cool feature that you can, through the favorites or similar stations or content, you can 
uh, tuning station from all over the world, right? Well, so in the Rhapsody, yes, you can get content from all their 16 million tracks. Um, the last app that we have is called TuneIn, or the oh, last partnership the okay. is called TuneIn. I, I, I would <laughs> Yeah, no, no it's, it's a great, it's a great uh, segue into our last app. Uh, so with TuneIn, we're announcing an expansion of our partnership. Okay. We actually already have a web radio feature in our BMW Connected app, which lets you listen to music from all over the world, and that's powered by TuneIn. And we've had that for a couple years, and it's great. And what we're announcing this week is an expansion of partnership because the TuneIn app itself is a really popular and great app that lots of people use yeah. on their iPhone. And we're really interested in giving seamless experiences. So when people are outside of the car, very often our customers are listening to radio from all over the world through the TuneIn app. And they have over 70,000 radio stations so you can listen to content from Finland or England or Texas or your local stations or um, South America or anywhere all over the world. That's great. And when you get in the car and you connect the TuneIn app, uh, what we're showing a preview of this week is the ability to then access all that content right through the iDrive controller. And one of the really fun features that you had just alluded to is with a single click through the iDrive controller, you can be listening to one station and you can say jump to a related station and using uh, TuneIn's algorithms in the back end, they'll jump you to a station that plays similar content, but it could be from somewhere else, some completely other location. Wow, and otherwise you have never known about it. Right, you, might discover, you might discover a station in Estonia that you had never <laughs> heard of and, and it might, it might uh, be, might be yeah. your new uh, favorite station. Uh, technology is so available to everybody now that a station can, can uh, be built. Exactly, easy. exactly. That's great, David. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, because I'm sure during the time that we've been talking, there's more apps uh, already yeah. there. For we're, you to analyze. We're constantly working on making the experience better. So thank you. Thank you very much, David. Yeah, absolutely.